welcome back to my channel Ina Pandora here and I'm back with a new makeup tutorial. Today we're going to be doing a makeup look and this one is inspired from cartoons, from um, Wonder Woman cartoons as you may know the actual video she in the actual video she looks pretty natural so my inspiration went from the cartoons and uh, this is how I envision the Wonder Woman and if you want to see how I did it then keep on watching and I want to start with apologizing for the sound at the beginning unfortunately my microphone is giving me a hard time lately anyway with my 3dhd blender i'm applying the Too faced foundation in the shade nude for the brows today i'm using bh cosmetics studio pro waterproof brow pomade in the shade brunette with sigma e65 brush with Sigma F64 and Desert Sunset DE01 Naked Cosmetics Pigments. I'm applying it all over my forehead and where I want to trace the cape, the Wonder Woman's cape. And with EO5 Sigma Brush and Sigma Gel Eyeliner in the shade Wicked, I am tracing the cape. To make it even faster, I found that Sigma Angled Cream Contour F61 worked even better for tracing that line. Then with Sigma E56 brush and black eyeshadow in the shade Control from Sigma 2, I am shading the right side of the cape to, make, to give it a little more of a 3D effect. Then I decided to add a little spacing between the shadow and the cape and with Sigma E05 brush and some concealer I just painted it in like a line over there. And with Sigma E65 brush and Wicked Gel Eyeliner from Sigma, I am painting the star and I think this one was the hardest part of the whole tutorial. And with small strokes, I am tracing the lines, taking my time, there is no rush, I can clean up later too. So if you make a mistake, don't worry, you can fix it later. And with Sigma E56 and Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpt Concealer, I'm cleaning up the inside area of the star to make it all clean and get it ready for the red shadows we're going to use. And for the eyeshadows, I'm using the Naked Cosmetics from the series Mother Nature in the shade MN03 with the Sigma F66 brush. Then with Sigma E56 and NYX Glitter and NYX Glitter Glue, I am applying on top of my red eyeshadow for that extra bling. my eyes today I'm using Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpt Concealer. I've been loving using this one for my eye primer, for my eyeshadow primer, and I'm applying it with a Sigma Eye Cream S20 brush. Although this uh, brush is meant for skincare, I do love to use it for concealer application and my eye primer application. And all over my crease, I am applying Naked Cosmetics Mother Nature 03 shade and applying it with my favorite brush from Sigma E25. Since working with pigments sometimes gets really messy, I am applying small amount at a time, applying it, patting it, and then blend it a little bit. Just swipe, like in swipe little motions. 
And on the brown bone, I'm adding the shade Treat Yourself from All I See's Magic Palette from a color pop, and I'm adding it with the Sigma Eel 4 brush. I have been completely obsessed with this brush for this purpose. In the same eyeshadow I used on the crease, I decided to add it on my outer corner too and to bring it a little more to the middle of the eye. Then with Sigma Control Black Eyeshadow, I'm adding it on the outer corner of my eyes and slowly blending it and bringing it in the inner corner. Then with the same concealer, Born This Way from Too Faced, I'm applying on the inner corner of the eye and kind of try to do that cut, half cut crease look. And with Sigma E60, I am applying the pigments from Naked Cosmetics in the shade Desert Sunset 01. It's a beautiful gold, even though I'm not a fan of working with loose pigments, but this color is absolutely amazing. So if you want to avoid that messy underneath fallout, just apply it a little bit at a time. The result is absolutely amazing. Then I'm going to come back and apply the same shade that I used on the crease in between the gold and the black eyeshadow to make that transition smooth and flawless. Then I'm coming back with the black eyeshadow in the outer corner of the eye and I'm trying to extend it a little bit further away for more dramatic effect and remember blend blend blend. Blending is the key for the flawless look. Then with Sigma E65 a brush, angled brush, and a gel eyeliner in the shade Wicked from a Sigma as well. I'm going to do that winged liner. In the inner corner, I'm applying the same shadow I applied on the brow bone from ColourPop using E56 brush from Sigma. For mascara choice today, I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And with 3DHD Blender from Sigma, I'm cleaning up the under eye area and concealing those butt puffs under the eyes. To set my concealer, I'm using the brightening powder from Kat Von D in the shade Golden. For the under eye, I'm using the sh same shade from Naked Cosmetics I used on my crease. And with the L06 brush from Sigma and gel eyeliner from Sigma, I am adding that black on the lower lash, lower lid, and also I'm going to add it on the waterline as well. I love this gel eyeliner because it's waterproof and it holds on specifically, especially that my eyes are extremely sensitive and watering a lot of times, it holds in place, so I absolutely love it. Then with a black eyeshadow from Sigma in the shade Control and the brush L04, I'm adding a black eyeshadow underneath and trying to hide and blend those um, empty spots. Then adding mascara, same mascara as before, Too Faced, Better Than Sex. And for extra playing, I decided to add glitter, so I put the base glitter glue from NYX Cosmetics and I topped it with gold glitter from same cosmetics line from NYX. Then I decided to add a gl same glitter on my eyelids and then I decided since I don't have a gold glitter liner I decided to create it um, with what I had so I topped it, I traced a line with the glue and then I topped it with the glitter and it came out just fine. To make it precise, it helped having a Sigma E05 brush. For the lips today, I'm using Too Faced a Mel Matte Metallic uh, in the shade Bitch I'm Too Faced. And decided to top it with a red glitter from NYX. To outline the lips, I am using E06 brush from Sigma, hands down. This is the tiniest, smallest, sharpest angled brush in the market. It helped a lot doing this and I'm tracing it with the gel eyeliner from Sigma as well in the shade Wicked. Then with the white grease paint from Creolan, I added those catch lights on the lips. and topped it with gold glitter. 
And this is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you want more videos like this or if you have a request, please comment down below and let me know. I might do a recreation of something that you guys want to want to see. Before you leave, consider subscribing to my channel. Click that notification bell to be notified when I'm uploading next. And I love you all and I'll see you on my next one. Bye, guys. Mm.